I'm budgeting them in into the whole year and whether I get them now or later in the year does not matter. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my new 2022 wish list. In fact, they're not really wish list items. They're actually more my buy list items. These are things that I am mentally committing myself and preparing myself to buy. For 2022, I wanted to concentrate more on curating my ready-to-wear collection as well as my fine jewelry collection. And then in terms of bags, I am still gonna add them even though I have a very healthy collection of bags, but I wanna curate really, really specific and timeless pieces. Speaking of jewelry, I want to thank today's video sponsor first, and it is none other than Ana Luisa. They are doing their Valentine's month promotion. And so I will be linking all the pieces that I'm featuring here, which I chose for the occasion as well. I have a ring that I am already wearing. I have my Kelly ring from Hermes and my Justin Clou from Cartier. But you will notice that on top of it, there is this very dainty ring and it is so, so pretty. This one is from Ana Luisa. It is a sterling silver ring, gold plated with little diamante crystals. And it is the daintiest little stacking ring and as you can see i am stacking it with my justin clue even though it was the right size last year when i bought my justin clue ring it is actually now way too loose it would actually fall off which happened in one of my videos earlier that i filmed this year it was falling off as i was fixing my hair so my solution is that I am adding a stacking ring on its own. It's very, very pretty, but if you stack multiple small rings or if you have a ring like this, like if you have any rings that are a little too loose, but you don't want to just get rid of them, obviously, because you chose it for a reason, then it makes a really, really cute stacking piece. And I'm so pleased with it. This one is also sterling silver with little diamantes, gold plated with a little cultured pearl. So this is how the little pearl earrings with crystals look like. They are so darling. Look at how beautiful they are. They, they just... They're stunning. They're so they're so dainty, but they're so stunning. The second pair of earrings that I chose, and these are the really, really cute Jessica earrings in the puffy heart, silver rhodium plated. And of course, I could not just choose the heart earrings without the puffy heart necklace as well. Kat raves about this design, and she raves about it so much that several of us went to buy it and also, um, I when I saw that they came in silver, I was like, you know what? I want to try them in silver. So definitely check out Ana Luisa. I will link their website down below. If you click on my link, it will bring you to the promotions right away. And I will also list all the pieces that I chose, including the little ring, the little pearl earrings, and of course, this beautiful silver set. All right, back to my buy list or slash wish list. I am going to start with all the Chanel items that I am planning to buy and then finish off with my list from Hermes. I am thinking that since my Justin Clou ring is not really fitting as properly as I would like, I might consider getting the thin Coco Crush ring for my index finger. And it's fine because I will still be wearing this one when my finger swells a little bit more or when I do have more inflammation. Um, obviously, in the meantime, I love stacking the two. Regardless, I do really like the Coco Crush line anyway. It's been something that's been on my radar for the, I don't know, I don't wanna put a time to it, but just something that I've been eyeing. And other than the rings, I also really like their earrings. The Coco Crush earrings are just so lovely. And I even like that pendant necklace with the double chain. It just looks so cool as a whole set. I shared with you guys in one of my recent videos that I, bought a lot of hats last year and they're all great but they're all kind of very dark color you know they they are basically all black black 
navy blue and one tweed which was the chanel one uh luckily the chanel one is a brighter tweed which is amazing but i want to get one that is a summer fabric maybe the current season if i can get my hands on one of the denim one just with the cc logo something very timeless that i can wear for many many years to come and that would go with just any summer outfit even what i'm wearing right now i'm also eyeing their dad sandals of course we're still in the middle of winter but um it is a matter of months before spring comes and when it's warm enough so definitely eyeing sandals and once they become in stock i will be for sure purchasing them but apparently they are very very hard to get being a chanel lover i feel like i at least need a pair that is from chanel i will still explore other brands but i would at least want one pair that's from chanel hopefully they're comfortable and will work for me but uh, um yeah i really hope so because they're quite expensive but anyway i do plan on buying that for this year for handbags i have decided um and i have already changed my mind since the beginning of the year i have decided that i actually don't need any more handbags from chanel and i think it's pretty shocking to say that however i know that the spring summer act 2 collection there are gonna be a ton of heart-shaped bags which are super novelty i am a bit conflicted because i know that since it's a novelty shape plus the fact that it's a chanel piece will drive everyone crazy i'm just a bit unsure whether i actually have space for such bag in my collection is it more due to fomo or is it just really due to me loving the bag so i'm not so sure about that yet chances are i am a bit of fomo uh, just because i'm having this thought right um so aside from the heart bags there is really no other style of bags that i feel like I'm missing maybe aside from the top handle mini rectangular which is technically a style that I don't have because although I do have some rectangular minis and square minis I don't have one with a top handle so I might explore that right, let's move on to some Hermes items obviously with Hermes I am still on my journey if we can call it that because I know some of you don't like this word it doesn't matter you guys know what I'm talking about and therefore part of my buy list includes these pre-spend items and of course some of the items that i'm looking to pre-spend on are more fine jewelry and i'm very very attracted to their line called farandol it is a very classic line i think that necklace is very very understated and yet can still be layered with costume jewelry and whatnot which is definitely an ultimate goal because i love the idea of fine jewelry where you don't have to remove it and it's you can shower with it and travel with it and you never have to worry about what jewelry to put on um, i would also love their matching earrings i'm not so sure whether i should go with the studs or the pendant earrings i feel like i might go with the pendant earrings just because the studs look a bit small to me um, but both are very very pretty aside from that of course i'm gonna be exploring their ready to wear now when it comes to ready to wear i can't really pinpoint which piece i'm gonna get because a lot of times stock is an issue but i will always go for pieces that are still on the reasonable range but will incorporate super well with my current wardrobe having had all this time to reflect since last year from last year's luxury wishlist video, I have already decided that I'm gonna also add a Kelly in the mix. And so whether that happens this year, we don't know, but hopefully uh, in addition to the Birkin, I would love to get my hands on uh, preferably a mini Kelly, that would be the ideal. I am also eyeing more of their non-quota bags of course i've shared with you guys in one of my previous vlog that i had the chance to try on the mini lindy from my friend clara so i would love 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 to get my hands on one of those and aside from that one new bag did pique my interest very recently after i saw oksana's video her della cavalleria bag is one of her newest favorites and i definitely got super interested after seeing her video because it just looks like a bag that is very well thought out in terms of features 
I mean, the shape, I know some people have different thoughts about the shape of what it reminds them. But if you look at the construction and the features, having back pockets, having the interior slip pockets, having a magnetic closure, adjustable strap, all of these things just makes the bag look very well thought out and very well constructed. And in terms of style, aside from trying it on, since I don't know how bulky it really is, I feel like in terms of style, it's just a very simple, timeless crossbody bag. Last but not least, I do want to share a couple of items, items, categories that are not Hermes or Chanel, and that is LV. I know I haven't shared anything from LV in a long time, but I am very, very interested in the new Nano Speedy. I am a Nano or micro bag fanatic, so the idea of having a Speedy, such an iconic shape, in a nano or micro size is very appealing to me and since i have given the speedy so many chances before and it never worked out and i really do think that it's due to the size and the fact that it's basically a black hole um i feel like the nano <laughs> might be my last chance at making a speedy work in my life and if it still doesn't then it's then it's really not meant to be, but at least I will give it a try. I don't believe that everything will happen in this in this one year. I mean, it can, but and if and if it does, then I will embrace it. But if it doesn't, it's fine because I just want to make myself ready to buy it, not so that it doesn't become a, sort of like such an unexpected expense. You know, I, I'm mentally preparing and budgeting for the whole year. Uh, so hopefully it works out. Definitely share with me your thoughts on these items, whether you recommend them or not. Um, but regardless, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support me further, you can also join my channel membership where you get more exclusive content. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.